March is here, dude. It's coming up. You getting that itch again? Yeah, absolutely. Very. It's kind of surreal and crazy that March is actually already here. Played 27 games, and so that's hard to hard to fathom. Man, after last year with that 16 seed upset, and yeah, I know you don't want to talk about that, so we won't talk about it. But the mantra kind of going into this year was it like, hey, man, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta make up for that. Um, yeah, I think individually that's what everybody's feeling. It's not something that. Uh, um, that's not something that we specifically say, but I know it's on everyone's mind. It's just to, um, you know, prove everybody wrong or right, depending on what people's stances are, and just, um, you know, just prove ourselves and, and, and play as hard as we can. You come back to Indy often? No, no, I don't get to. Um, it's too too far of a drive and too expensive for a flight, so. There you go. So you just stay at UVA all summer then, right? Put in some Well, work. no, I get to come home for whatever time everybody else gets. But other than that, I'm here. Right. During the season, you're all hardcore. Cool. My my co-host, Ben Polizzi, just walked into the studio. So he's going <laughs> to get set up here with What's us. What's up, dude? We're, uh, you, man? we're uh, yeah, we're in Indy. We're 1070 the fan in Indy, obviously. So I don't want you to think this is like any hardcore like we're ice gang. We're ice gang. Hardcore like hoops talk or anything like that. You know, you can you can relax a little bit, dog. We got, got you. you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> you get tired of interviews like? I mean, no matter what my answer is, it comes with the territory. So I mean, uh, I'm I'm cool with it, and you know. That's what I'm here for. That's what you guys are here for. So. All right. Yeah, we appreciate that. Hey, man, what 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 was up with the man bun going back to your freshman year? You know, you're not gonna bring that back. No, probably not. Uh, my fiance doesn't like it, and um, you know, you don't want to. You want to. You know, happy wife, happy life. So we're Dude, not going back there. I feel you on that because I am also engaged. And when I was oh, doing, awesome. yeah, when I was doing my research here today, when we were getting you on. I saw that you were engaged too. So how'd you do it, dude? First of all, congrats. By yeah, the way. thank you. Yeah, how, you as well. Thank you. What was the story? How'd it go uh, down? We, we uh, you know, been dating since eighth grade, pretty much. Uh, took a year or two off in between, but um, when we reconvened my sophomore year, I just knew that that she was the one, and so I brought her out to UVA, got her off, um, got her off work. For the week, and she didn't know that. She thought she was going home uh, on a on February 18th, and um, took her. I said we were going to eat uh, breakfast with uh, Coach Bennett, actually. And Ooh. so he lives in a really nice area. It's got a pond and has like a bridge that goes over it. So I took her on the top of the bridge, and had a secret photographer hiding, and you know, just asked her to marry me. So did you forget? Uh, did you black out when that happened? Because I kind of blacked out. I don't remember anything I said. I didn't, but I'm super, like, sentimental. Like, she's, like, I'm the romantic, I'm the romantic one in the relationship. She's not as much, but, so I remembered everything, and I tried to be as smooth as possible. So maybe she blacked out, but I did not. <laughs> Dude, KG, what's up, man? This is Ben Polizzi. How, how are you, man? Hey, is, that your, did, is that your nickname? Did, did I just make that up? KG? I don't know. Yeah, a lot of people call me that. What, so. What's your real nickname? I don't have one, man. Yeah, Kyle. you do. Yeah, you do. I don't. You kind of take KG, so what? I mean, would it be all right if it was like KG, like two, like it was like your own thing, kind of? You're just like the the second coming of KG. Almost? I mean, Kevin Garnett was my favorite player growing up because uh, we had the same initials. So hell yeah, hell yeah. No, I feel dude, you. you said you took your wa- your uh, wife off of work for a week. Engaged. They're just fiance. Yeah. Dude. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll, if you took me off work for a week, I'd marry you too, man. I don't know. <laughs> Dude, okay, from an outsider perspective, it kind of seems like Virginia is like no swag. It's kind of like the Spurs of NCAA basketball. Like, it's just, I don't know. And you're like swag god. Did you have to like warm them up when you walked in there? Like, like how did that happen when you walked on campus? No, there's just a misconception of uh, what we're all about. I mean, there's a certain level of confidence and swagger that each and every player has, especially myself and uh, and Ty Jerome. So, um, you know, they're they're winners down here. They've been winning for a while now with Coach Bennett, and um, so I mean, it was really easy to to, to acclimate to this environment. Now, when I was looking up and seeing you know, your Instagram and everything like that, I saw that you you and your fiance, you guys do a little YouTube channel, huh? Yeah. 
<laughs> no, you guys, uh, that was some interesting stuff. I was watching about some stories and everything, how y'all met and everything like that. So she talked you into it or you're like, hey, let's let's get it done. Let's do this. Yeah, so she likes to watch the, you know, vloggers and YouTubers out there that, you know, are the influencers that make a lot of money doing that. And they're actually really entertaining if you actually sit down and watch them. But um, so I would, you know, be with her hanging out and she'd just be watching them so then I get stuck watching them and she said she wanted to do it so just like she supports me in basketball I was like alright let's do it went, we went and bought a camera and the rest is history one of them you had to read the tweets that people came at you guys with or came at you uh-huh. after a game what yeah she, she, she pulled a bunch of screenshots of tweets that people had sent them and right. was saying about, you know, during the game about Kyle Guy's got a punchable face and all this what? kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So is that do you go like LeBron playoff mode activated? Like do you shut all that stuff off or you read it and, and you know, clap back at him? Uh I find a happy medium. Um I feel uh I try to always have playoff mode activated. Um nice. And um I would say I like to when my mom always told me if I'm gonna retweet anything good about myself I gotta retweet the bad too. So um, whenever I see something bad about myself, I just retweet it, and it's like, all right, dude, we'll good be sh- one. And let's <laughs> yeah. just try to shut them up. We'll be sure uh, for on Saturday when you're playing, we'll just you know have a bunch of good Kyle Guy tweets, so you know, okay, it cool, evens cool. it out for you. You know what I'm saying, dude? How like on a scale of one to ten, how polite is your coach? He just looks polite. <laughs> <laughs> He's the most genuine person I've ever met. Yeah. <laughs> Like, yes, pl- no. So he looks handsomest coach in college basketball. It, just how hot is he from one to ten? That's all. That's all. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, you guys can answer that one. Dude, come on. Yeah. Hey, he, had, I feel like he has a little bit of a recruiting like advantage, though. You know, because he's you know got a Tony Bennett, the charm. Does he sing at all? Like the real Tony Bennett? Or no, he? he didn't sing, but he does have a signed copy of uh, Tony Bennett's book, like the singer. Huh. Um, so he he's pulled that out a few times. Hey, we just. Uh, there's an article that came out around here, and this dude for the Pacers, I forget his name right now. Wesley Matthews. He uh, he drinks coffee before every game. That's like his thing now. Do you have a thing uh, that you yeah, do? Yeah, I, sh- I take a shower right before every game. Right before? Yeah, right before. I listen to five songs on the fifth song, get out, and get ready to rock and roll. If you could do it at halftime, would you? Like, if you could hop back in the shower. Like, just give oh, me a song 100%. real quick before we... <laughs> for real? 100%, Addicted yeah. Addicted to showers. I hate halftime. I hate halftime. The worst. You can probably sneak one in there. What are your five songs, or is that is that private? In the, well, it's... I, I can't even name them because they change every time. So oh, it's just okay. whatever mood I'm in. I didn't know if it was like a strict, like, this is my shower playlist. Like I would songs. say yes, but then songs would just get old, so. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I think, Ben, you got, we're going to run some lyrics past you here, I think, real quick. Okay, all right. We did this with Terry McLaren from Ohio State. Let's see okay. what you got. Trying to see if you can if you can name these lyrics. They know I'm the truth, coming straight from the basement. I'm straight as the street. Man, I come like the pavement. A million or hundreds, it make them go crazy. Wah, wah, wah. Uh, that's little Baby and Dress, yes, indeed, right? You got to finish it. You got to finish it, though. You got to finish it. No, I'm not. <laughs> we, okay, I'm not we're doing, saying that. Come on, dude. All right, man. That's cool. Hey, dude. Uh, thanks, for, thanks for joining us after your practice and everything today. Looking forward to March Madness. I know UVA is going to have some redemption from last year, and uh, we're going to be pulling for you, dude. Appreciate that, man. Thank you. G, good luck, man. Thanks. Kyle Guy? Basically friends. Pretty much friends. He hates us.